In sports, we use our joints to do things like run, jump, throw, hit, pivot and pull. Sometimes, doing these things can put strain on different joints in our body. And if these joints get injured, that's when my work begins. Hi, I'm Peter, and here at St Vincent's Hospital, teams from the University of Melbourne and the University of Wollongong are working together to develop a device that fixes problems in joints before they get worse. When we hurt a joint like our knee, a substance that protects the bone, known as cartilage, can be damaged. This cartilage is like a smooth protective layer at the ends of our joints. It allows us to rub smoothly one bone against the other and protects the bones from banging against each other. And if it's not there, the bones can rub together and that can be quite painful. This cartilage can be damaged by landing and twisting awkwardly. Over time, this damage can get worse and lead to things like arthritis. And so far, it is impossible to replace normal cartilage with any known substance on Earth. That's why we are designing a device that uses the patient's own cells to rebuild damaged cartilage. It's called a biopen. It contains a substance that we use to insert into the affected areas in joints to grow new cartilage where it has been damaged. So how do we make the cartilage growing ink for the biopen? Well, first we take stem cells from the same joint where the damage has occurred. Stem cells are a very special type of cell that has the potential to change into other types of cells. We expose these cells to chemicals that remove unwanted tissue. And the next step is to take the patient's cells and turn it into a gel-like substance which creates an environment for the cells to grow. The gel is a very special type of material that contains chemicals that keep the stem cells alive and also gives it the instructions to become cartilage. We squirt it out of the bar pen like toothpaste, but as we do that, we also squirt an extra layer of gel around the outside. What makes this second layer of gel special is when UV light hits it, it becomes hard. And now that we have our gel ink, we can put it into our bar pen and use it to repair the cartilage. The 3D pen prints the mixture and we can go precisely to the area where we want the mixture to settle. As you can see, the ultraviolet light at the end of the pen causes the gel to set. And what this means is we can create layers and layers to fill the damaged area. The cells can then grow to form cartilage and fill the hole left by the damage. So the next step is to do surgical human trials. And who knows, in the future, the next bar pen may be used for bone, muscle or tendon.